Welcome back, Phillies and Gentlefolks, to a Brony Blades Minecraft. We've made it back out of the deep, dark, scary underground to our lovely house. You'll see it's daytime, beautiful windows. I'm so proud of these windows. <laughs> I put a chest up here for our gems. They're not super useful right now, <clears throat> but they can be useful in the future for a, I was talking about this yesterday, a protection meter. A protection meter is something that shows the amount of spawn protection in the area. Basically, the longer you've lived in a certain chunk, the more spawn protection it accumulates to protect yourself from things spawning there. That's what spawn protection is. Make sense? I hope so. <clears throat> Anyways, the protection meter shows you that. And that's the only thing that gems are useful for, for right now. In fact, by the only thing gems are useful for, I mean, it's so... the the game hasn't implemented anything, and in fact has taken out diamond tools. So even if you find diamonds, you won't be able to make any diamond tools or diamond armor with any of the diamonds you get. Now this is a little odd, uh, but understandable, since in real life, if you find diamond, you don't just put three of them together and get a big axe of diamond! No, you get three diamonds. And that's it. Um, although, in real life, you can get like diamond tip drills and things, but the process is very different, so I think Maybe in the future they'll implement that, but I kind of doubt it. It does, however, make me wonder why they have different grades, such as chipped, um, regular, flawless, perfect, flawed, etc. It's very much like Diablo, so I, I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, <clears throat> the first thing we're going to do today... I don't know what that is, guys. I'm going to catch in my throat or something. Very, very weird. The first thing we're going to do... A little bit of math. We don't have enough charcoal for, well, to melt all of our cassiterite. We have enough to melt some, but we don't have enough to melt all of it. And the reason for that is because it takes about um, one kilogram of charcoal to melt, or, yeah, smelt, melt, whatever, one kilogram of cassiterite or any other material. Things that are harder to get, like copper and iron, are going to take higher temperatures and therefore will use extra charcoal in addition to the required one-to-one. -one just to get that high temperature. So, first, we're going to start by aiming and tossing one piece in to show you guys what one piece is, how much that comes out to. So, apparently, it's uh, one piece of a regular ore is 4.5 kilograms, which is pretty heavy. That's probably why you can only carry eight. Uh, the charcoal, though, seems to have vanished, or at least not been recognized properly. Possibly because it just started burning right away. Let's grab another one real quick. I... There we go, we'll just do that. Let's try you. There it goes. Okay, so it is. One piece of coal, charcoal, one piece of charcoal is 4.5 kilograms, one piece of cassiterite is 4.5 kilograms. It's the same for other metals as well, as far as I know, and we'll find out once we start smelting them as well. But you can see that it actually took two, one to get the temperature up, and then one to actually smelt the cassiterite. Now, we could go ahead and put a couple more in here. put two more, and extra just to keep the temperature up, but that's kind of all of our charcoal. So, we're going to start by cutting some stuff down. So yeah, I put a little extra coal in there, I probably didn't need to put all of that coal in there. But one of it just got burned, so there we go. Oh, and we have a little bit extra sitting there. I thought that might happen. So what are we going to do with this little bit? Well, we need more charcoal. I mean, yes. Yeah, we need more charcoal. We need. There are two things that could help us out with that. One would be a scythe, but the other, and uh, more important thing, would be an axe. The scythe is great because it can be really useful in... Actually, oops, that's not what I want. Here it is. The scythe is good because it can be uh, helpful with some things, with chopping down trees to get, well not chopping down trees, it, 
I'm gonna start that sentence over. I'm just gonna just gonna completely start over. There we go. The scythe is used not for chopping down trees. The scythe is used for something completely different. As you saw in the last video, last video, I mean in the previous series back when it still worked, when trees grow, they have leaves. The scythe is used for getting all the leaves, well not all, but many leaves within an area. That's what the scythe is for. Blah. My mouth is for talking, but that doesn't mean I can use it right. So don't go around swinging scythes either. Having said that, we really need to cool this stuff down. I wonder if this, it should, but it doesn't. Uh, okay, fine, yeah. All right, then through the magic of video editing, ta-da! It's all of a sudden no longer liquid. So let's take that out for the moment, and we shall upset it, and then whack it a couple times. There we go, a tin ingot, and an axe. We'll need to upset, then hit, then punch. Let's upset our way up there. Not bad. Not perfect, but not bad. All right. Do, 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 do. Stick, 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 stick. To make a tin axe, which will be much better than a regular axe, I think. Let's go find out. To the boat place thing. Come back, boat. Ah, good. We nearly drowned, but our boat came back. La da da da, we nearly drowned, but our boat came back. La da 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 da, our boat was there, so we entered it from underneath. Cause that's how boats work. Can't you see? We nearly drowned, but our boat came back. La da da, we nearly drowned, but the boat came back. La da 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 da, we nearly drowned, but the boat came back. La da 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 da, but now here we are, so it's time to stop the song. Crap. Well, that was... Hmm. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Never sing in boat. You always forget to break, and then your boat smashes into a thousand pieces. Very tragic. We should hold a funeral. This axe is not much faster. Grumble. I feel I've been lied to by... I don't know, somehow. It's more durable though, but it doesn't seem to be much faster. But that makes sense. It's tin. Have you ever had some tin? Tin bends. Tin is not like zinc. Zinc is harder, although not great either. A tin axe is softer than a copper axe, and if you've ever played with copper, you know that it's not exactly the most sturdy. It dents and bends too easily. Oh. Oh, that one went fall, okay. Not bad. Alright. Anyways. Point is that, yeah. Tin axe. Oh no, I dropped a piece of wood. Quick, we must go and pick it up. Do we have to pick it up? Yes, we have to pick it up. Pick it up, pick it up. And since we have some low line... Actually, we don't really need to do this, because I've got a bazillion saplings back home. Partly because of the weird bug where they keep growing whenever the tree grows. Well, the sapling doesn't grow, but I mean, the sapling appears whenever the tree grows. I don't know! Stop asking me questions, me. Anyways. We are cutting down this tree. Yes, we're cutting down the tree. It must... Oh, okay, fine. Apparently it doesn't like me singing at it. It's almost understandable. Almost. <laughs> Hurts my feels, man. It's kind of weird that we don't get this, this bug. I suppose I should just update, and then I wouldn't complain about it. I'm not really complaining. It gives me a free sapling. So, that's fun. Saplings. Oh, I should have brought the saplings out with me so we could have replanted. And as it is, we're going to have to... We only have one sapling. There we go. Yeah, remember you can't plant on there because it's 
devoid of nutrients. Oh look, we can see underneath. We can see how slow it is. Ah, crap! I let go of the button. No. So for some reason, Bandicam is recording this at like eighty some frames. Now it's seventy. Now it's fifty. So if there's any sort of like weird thing where it looks like it's going really fast because it plays back at thirty and it you know records here, maybe if I do this, it'll no, that didn't help at all. Okay, good. I still have plenty of space. Let's cut this one down. Oh, hold on. Let's we got. Let me do this. Maybe we'll get a sapling out of it. This is what the scythe is so nice for. Because scythe is uh, cuts down on time here. Other things that we're gonna have to make once we get our charcoal up and going include a metal hammer so that we can get flux and start welding things. We'll need to do that for copper so that we can create a copper anvil, remember? We also have to actually go find more copper. That won't be, that won't be hard. And I promise I will not make you sit through uh, the whole process of my uh, prospecting and trying to mine it out. I'll just cut to the part where we find it. And that way it'll be more entertaining and it won't take, it, it won't seem like it takes so long. That's the thing about Terraforma. Uh, it's actually not great for a video series because it just takes forever to do everything. It's, I mean, I guess Tekkit does similar things, but people seem to enjoy Tekkit more for whatever reason. Speaking of which, I know I keep promising a Tekkit Skyblock and I keep not doing it. Um, and the reason for not the not doing it is because I don't have anyone to do it with, mostly. Um, I have no friends. No, uh, the the big the other reason is that I'm still working on this series, and I don't want to have the three things going on at once. Although I was thinking about putting a new showing off video up there, but uh, I haven't done that either. But I would probably put a new Tekkit, or I'd do it like the Tekkit Skyblock something once I find a friend or maybe even two. I think one is probably all it needs because the Skyblocks are pretty small. So once I find a friend who uh, is interested. Then we can start the sky blocking and we'll like, I don't know, die or something. I, it's, it's not super, I don't think it's going to be super interesting, amazingly awesome, but I'm going to cut this tree down. But first, I'm going to be a good person and try and get a couple of saplings off of it. But I'm not going to try very hard because it's a really big tree and I really need a scythe for this job. I think I got one. That might have just been a stick. I think it was just a stick. Just a stick. I do have some more saplings, but I probably don't have enough space here because I have a stupid bone. Go away, bone. I picked it up again, didn't I? Damn it, bone! We are cutting down the sycamore, mighty, mighty sycamore. It's really big and a lot of wood fell in the water. Cause we're cutting down the sycamore, this mighty, mighty sycamore. It's a very American tree or so. I've been told by someone. I don't know who. I, I don't I don't think anyone actually told me that. I think I just invented that just now. I just invented the sycamore, the mighty, mighty sycamore. I said it was an American tree, even though I'm probably wrong. And now there's some more firs over here, even though they don't look like Douglas firs, because I thought that Douglas firs were pine trees. But I might have been wrong, I might have been wrong. I could have been mistaken about the pine trees. They might not have been Douglas firs at all. Instead, they might just have been regular pine trees. Yes! Today's show is brought to you by the letter Q and the number 16. 16 being a square number and a power of 2 since forever! Oh, that's weird. Listen to that. Huh, okay. Didn't make the same noise the second time. Anyways, let's go ahead and place the sycamore one down. Or no, I don't want to do that. I'll, I'll use the sycamore. Sycamore makes some nice, like, oh, where did I get that from? I don't know. 
Oh, from the boat. Huh, the broke boat. Okay, that's amusing. I'll, I'll actually use the sycamore for other things. It, it, it looks nice. It has a nice color to it. So I'll use the sycamore for other things. And is it getting dark? No, it just looked like it was for a moment. Me. Do 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 do. Filling up the charcoal pile with things. We might be able to get this. I don't think so. No, we're not. We're not gonna be able to get this. It'll be one more. One more trip will be needed. Do do. Okay. So I just ran out of songs to sing, anyways. Oh, we have two sycamores. Hmm. Intriguing. There we go. I mean, we actually have plenty of wood that we could start up the fire, the charcoal burningness, if we wanted to. Um, oh! Okay, we're uh, 12, 13, plus 16 short. Oh! A lovely scene. As the sun sets, a beautiful red sunset. I haven't actually looked at the sunsets. They said they updated them, and they're very pretty all of a sudden. Not that we can actually see the sun, just the house is in the way. But look at the clouds. Oh, that's so beautiful. That's so beautiful. And over here we have the lovely moon, and it gets very dark over there. And why don't we go in and have a rest and come back when we're ready to burn the charcoal? Looks very red in here. A little worried. Hmm. There we go. <laughs> All right. Sleepy, sleepy, sleepy pony. Haha! -ha! Through the magic of video editing, you didn't see anything weird at all, and here we are with a lovely charcoal pile in the making. And it's just going to sit here and be all like, I'm a charcoal pile. I'm cooking charcoal. That's all I'm doing. Yeehaw! In the meantime, let's go make some lunch. Oh no, it's our last carrot. Which brings me to another point that at some point here, we'll need to start... Hmm. You know, there might be a point to having a uh, fireplace. Or just uh, a fire pit. Maybe. Or I'll just eat it cold. <laughs> no big deal. But, uh, as I was saying, we might at some point want to... Oh yeah, you can't put logs in there. Could stack log piles outside, though. Do -do -do. Might want to start building farms. Farmland. Screw outside log piles. Let's put them inside somewhere. I wonder. Ooh, let's see if log piles have gravity. Can we just. Haha! -ha! That works. Don't tell anyone. Or else it'll stop working. <laughs> there we go. Wonderful. Okay, so we do want to start thinking about farmland. But for farmland, we'll need a hoe. And we don't have any metal to make a hoe at the moment. I think we can make a stone hoe, but I don't want to. Stone hoes are for stoned hoes. I don't think that made a lot of sense. No, instead we're going to go looking for a copper mine. Since, I mean, I could just sit there and wait for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the charcoal pit to burn and, you know, make the charcoal and do all that stuff and then do the considerate and then go to copper mining. But, oh wait, where am I going? I know exactly where I had one. Uh, there were traces listed in the quarry, but I figure I will go over here instead and start a whole new one. Do 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 do
Remember I said I had these uh, things set up all over the place. Oop. Here we go. And I have it set up because that's where I had found some coppery stuff. So, yes. I'm going to take this lovely... Oh, hey, the cherry tree. Oh, no, is it not in bloom anymore? It might not be in bloom anymore. I don't see any cherries on it. Yeah. It is July. Hmm, apparently we're out of cherries. Let's see if we can... Aha! I have a cherry tree sapling. Excellent. Only need one. I'll have to go get a sapling from that other tree sometime. For now, let's uh, start digging. Diggy diggy hole sort of thing. The noise is odd. Ha ha! <laughs> There's a large sample of native copper somewhere very close. Um, all I have to do is just, you know, check around. Uh, I don't have to. Ch okay. So how are you going to do this? Hmm. Simple. By being tricksy. Let's see here. Um. Yeah, it, it didn't like that. That's okay. It doesn't have to. And then, see, that's all going to fall. So what we need is we need a roof. An artificial roof. Okay. And then this and trust me I have an idea as to what I'm doing although this seems like a lot of work there we go what does that do litmus simple that means I have to make a new thing watch it didn't fall and now I have to make a new shovel. Shovel! This is also something that we need to make metal once we start being able to smelt things. Because I'm tired of breaking my shovels all the time. Shovels! And breaking! And stuff like that. So anyways, now we can start actually digging downward. But that one won't fall because it's being supported. And in another square or two, we'll be able to get another thing. And that's how you, I'll show you the. And then, then I'll stop and let other things happen. There we go. Okay, so now we can put in a real mine support. And it doesn't really matter that there's nothing directly on top of this. I'm going to take this out, and all of this stuff is going to probably fall, but it'll fall to here, and it should stop at that point. So let's grab our axe. Well, okay, so kind of stopped at that point. It fell just like I knew it would. It just went a little farther than I thought it would. No big deal. Let's go ahead and put some torches up. And now we have ourselves a little mine. Ta-da! Now this will hold up the rest of it for a little while. And uh, we can go mining. So remember we found, I think it was this square gave us the thing. So a large sample of native copper. 
and that means that we go 12 down and 12 in all the other directions until we find it, but it probably won't take that long. Either way, I'm not going to subject you guys to that, especially since I don't have any uh, amazing commentary. So, through the magic of video editing, we'll see you again as soon as we find this darn copper.